These peanut butter and honey versions are so good. Hey, welcome to Gumpy Gum. I'm sorry. Welcome to Gump. My jaw hurts now. Hi, and welcome to Dumpy Dum. I'm Josh Clark. Thanks for joining me. Oh, have you ever heard that a meteorite falling from the sky? hits the ground as a ball of flame? That's absolutely untrue. Although it makes sense. Let's get into it. A meteorite is a chunk of planet, billions of years old, that's been floating around in space all that time, in sub-zero temperatures. In fact, the temperature of deep space is about negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So, a chunk of rock being exposed to sub-zero freezing temperatures for billions of years isn't going to heat up too terribly much when it enters Earth's atmosphere. See, when that rock is floating around in space, it's a meteor. But after it starts falling into Earth's atmosphere, it becomes a meteorite. And when it descends onto Earth, it's coming in at tremendous speeds. And you'd think that the friction is what heats it up, but that's not true. The friction does a little bit, but for the most part, it has to do with air compressing so quickly that it can't cool off around the meteorite. The meteorite can be exposed to temperatures into the thousands of degrees Fahrenheit on its way to Earth, but its tumble through the atmosphere lasts only just a few seconds. And the outer layers that get so hot, they burn off. So when it hits Earth, Meteorites are probably no more than about the air temperature around it, on the ground. And some people have even reported that they've seen meteorites on the ground with frost on them. So the next time you and a friend see a meteorite zooming through the sky, and your friend screams that the meteorite's going to burn everything down around it, you can set them straight and tell them Josh sent you. <laughs>